Edelweiss hat, how to do easy color work in knitting. You can see in this hat there are three colors. You have the main color and two accent colors. You can make the style with or without pom-pom. So we have here an example of two colors. These are the materials you will need. If you're working with three colors, you have a main ball of yarn color 2 and color 3, and a set of size 17 knitting needles. You've knitted 22 rows. You can take color number 2 and tie it to your project. And you do it at the beginning of your round number 23. When it's secure, you start knitting. So first stitch is still done with color number one. And then you alternate. Your next stitch is done with color two. And then again, you knit with color one. And then you keep alternating the colors until end of the round. And then you can see every other stitch is um, in color number two. So, as you can see, this is quite easy. Do not be intimidated by color work. Just do it one by one, slowly, until you get used to it. So, if you um, don't like to keep um, changing the color with your hand, you can kind of combine, um, you can knit both American and Continental. So in this case, I'm holding color number one with my left hand and color number two with my right hand. So color one is done Continental and color two is done American. So this way you can save a little bit of time. So continental, American. So this way your left hand is holding one strand of yarn in one color and your right hand is holding the other color. So it saves you a little bit of time on every stitch. The following round, you just knit with um, color number one. And so round 25, you alternate the colors again. And then just keep going until end of round. You can see this is a very pretty pattern. Um, it looks like little hearts. So at this point, we're ready for color number three. So same thing, we will attach this yarn just by tying it. And then you can, um, when you're done with the hat, uh, with your project, you can um, weave in all the ends at the end. So, but for now, you just want to make sure that the connection is secure. So you can simply just tie it into a knot. If you have a felting needle, you can use that for completely seamless connection. So this is what the back looks like, the inside of the hat. And now we just, we keep going, alternating the main color, color number one, and your color number three. 
Otherwise, it's exactly the same as you've been doing in the previous rounds. Just keep alternating. If you're only working with two colors, you don't need to attach the third color. You just keep using your um, color number two as your accent color for the rest of the hat. And your last round, you are going to knit two together with color number three. So insert the needle through two stitches, yarn over, and pull it through. So knit two together. So instead of putting it through just the one stitch, you insert the needle through two stitches and you knit with color number three. And just keep going until end of the round. When you're done with your last round, this is how you do finishing. So leave about five inches or so and cut the yarn. And now this is the same way we, we finish most of our head projects. You just pull that end through every stitch one by one and take it off the needle. And then just keep going until all the stitches are off the needle. So you see, they're staying securely on that tail end. So when you're at the end, all you have to do is just pull the tail end. You can do, you can cut the other strands, just leave a few inches. You can turn the head inside out if that's easier for you. And then just pull it as tight as you can and then secure the end. So make sure it's secure. You can do a couple knots just to make sure. Okay, and now um, what you can do, there's different ways to weave in the ends. You can do it any way that you prefer. So this is just one of them. And trim the ends. You can tie them together like this too. And if you have any type of felting needle handy, you can also use that. Um, you can be a single felting needle or this is a felting needle tool that has multiple felting needles. It just goes a little bit quicker. So you can use that for all the ends. And this is the finished project. If you're making the pom-pom version, there will be enough yarn for you to make the pom-pom in color number three.